to another episode of Learn Japanese from Some Guy. In today's video, we're going to look at chapter 21 of my textbook, where we will learn how to use the formal negative past tense. So, in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to say things like, I didn't go to the movies yesterday, or she didn't eat breakfast. So, something that we can use for everyday conversation, very, very important lesson. So, without further ado, hajimarimashouka, yoroshimo onegaishimasu. All right, everyone, here we are, chapter 21, the formal negative past tense with masen deshita. And like I said before, this chapter is really, really easy because to make the structure, all we have to do is add deshita to the masen form of our verb. So if you're not really sure how to conjugate a verb to the masen form, uh, be sure to check out my video, I think uh, chapter 11, I'll put a link in the description box where I taught how to conjugate to the masen form. So if you're not comfortable with doing that, be sure to watch that before continuing on. And if you know, then uh, we can we can continue. Okay, so first we're gonna take a look at our type one verbs. Okay, so here we have in the left the dictionary form. So we have kau, we conjugate it to the masen form, we get kaimasen, and then we add deshita to get kaimasen deshita. So we have buy, not buy, and didn't buy. Okay, next we have mawaru, mawarimasen, mawarimasen deshita, sakebu, Sakebimasen, sakebimasen deshita. Yomu, yomimasen, yomimasen deshita. Shinu, shinimasen, shinimasen deshita. Kaku, kakimasen, kakimasen deshita. Hanasu, hanashimasen, hanashimasen deshita. And last one, oyogu, oyogimasen, so that's it, really straightforward, just adding deshita to the masen form of our verb. And now we're going to try some on our own. So we have some practice problems. So on the left, we have the dictionary form of our verb. In the second column, I want you guys to write the masen form of the verb. And in the final column, the masen deshita, the formal negative past tense form of the verb. So remember, you can go to my homepage, learn Japanese from some guy.com, and you can download this PDF that has the practice problems so you have something to write on. But uh, anyway, I think we have um, six problems. So pause the video, answer these, and remember to write your answers using hiragana, katakana, and kanji. All right, so I'm assuming you've answered, so now let's check our answers. All right, so I'm assuming you, you're done, so now we can check. So number one, we have nomu, nomimasen, nomimasen deshita. Aruku, arukimasen, arukimasen deshita. Iru, imasen, Imasen deshita. Shinu, shinimasen, shinimasen deshita. Sasu, sashimasen, sashimasen deshita. And the last one, nugu, nugimasen, nugimasen deshita. And that's it. So again, just adding deshita to the masen form of a verb, really, really uh, easy. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at our type two verbs. And fortunately, type two verbs and type one verbs are conjugated the exact same way. We're just going to conjugate our verb to the Masen form and add deshita, just like type one. So here we have some examples, our type two verbs on the left. We have taberu becomes tabemasen, and we get tabemasen deshita, didn't eat. Miru, mimasen, mimasen deshita, didn't see. Yameru, yamemasen, yamemasen deshita, didn't quit. Ageru, agemasen, agemasen deshita, didn't give. And the last one, dekiru, dekimasen, dekimasen deshita. And that's it. So just like our type one verbs, just adding deshita to the masen form. And now we're going to try a little practice. Okay, so again, in the left column, we have the dictionary form verb, write the masen form and the formal negative past tense form in the third column. So pause the video and answer these two. And the last five, so pause the video and answer these and we'll check. All right, I'm assuming you've answered them, so now we can check. So number one, we have kotairu becomes kotaimasen, kotaimasen deshita. Machigairu, machigaimasen, machigaimasen deshita. Miseru, misemasen, misemasen deshita. Mitsukeru, mitsukemasen, mitsukemasen deshita. Neru, nemasen, nemasen deshita. Oshieru, oshiemasen. And the last one, shimeru, shimemasen, shimemasen deshita. And that's it. So if you are able to answer these, and the last ones, you can conjugate any type one or any type two form into the formal negative past tense. Very, very easy. And of course, our lesson wouldn't be complete without taking a look at the type three verbs. 
Uh, and even though they are irregular, they follow pretty basic rules just like everything else. We're just going to add deshita to the imasen form. So suru becomes shimasen, shimasen deshita. And kuru becomes kimasen, kimasen deshita. Okay, and that's it. So now we're going to take a look at some example sentences. And you'll notice that the verb will be highlighted in purple. Okay, so number one, kino watashi wa nani mo kaimasen deshita. Kino watashi wa nani mo kaimasen deshita. Yesterday, I didn't buy anything. So kaimasen deshita, didn't buy. And number two, kare wa kutsu wo nugimasen deshita. Kare wa kutsu wo nugimasen deshita. He didn't take off his shoes. Remember, very important to do in Japan when you're entering someone's house. Uh, number three, kanojo wa dekimasen deshita. Kanojo wa dekimasen deshita. She couldn't do it. Dekimasen deshita. Couldn't do. Number four, watashi wa shukudai wo shimasen deshita. Watashi wa Shukudai wo shimasen deshita. I didn't do my homework. Shukudai, homework. Very good vocabulary word there. Number five, watashi wa asagohan wo tabemasen deshita. Watashi wa asagohan wo tabemasen deshita. I didn't eat breakfast. And the last one, number six, watashi wa kore wo kare ni misemasen deshita. Watashi wa kore wo kare ni misemasen deshita. I didn't show this to him. And that's it. So before we finish our lesson, we're just going to take a look at the summary of what we learned. So we learned that when conjugating to the formal negative past tense, type 1, type 2, and type 3 verbs all use the same conjugation method, method which is, of course, adding deshita to the masen form of the verb. And we also learned that we want to use this form when we're speaking politely. Okay, So in, in a situation where you're meeting someone who's socially higher than you or you know someone's older than you, you're going to want to speak politely. Uh, you don't want to offend anybody. And next week, we're going to take a look at chapter 22, where we will learn the informal negative past tense. So today we learned the formal form. Now we're going to take a look at how to speak in a more casual way. So when we, when we are speaking with our friends or with our social equals, we can use this form, which is a much more natural way of speaking Japanese. So uh, be sure to check that out next week, and we'll see you then. Matane. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's lesson. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you'll get updated on when new content is released. Also, remember my book, Learn Japanese from Some Guy, is available on Amazon. So if you want to study ahead or help support the series, you can check that out. I'd really appreciate it. And that's going to do it for today. So be sure to check back next week for Chapter 22, and we'll see you then. Mata ne. Boom. Boom. Boom.